taking a picture and double-siding it can then be stuffed with toilet paper or tissue, cotton, and in this example here, you'll see that we have a quail and he's been stuffed with toilet paper. Now in order to um, assemble this before you give it to your children in the classroom, you're going to take your coloring page and you want to determine which part of the picture that you actually want for your image. Now if you notice on this one here, we don't have the full image of the quail. So we need to fix that so that we have just the quail without the leaves on it. So I'm going to take and white out the part that I don't want, which are these blades of grass coming up. And once I've whited out the entire part that I don't want, you'll see the white out part here. Then I need to draw in the pieces to finish off the quail. So using a black Sharpie, we'll just finish drawing in the lines to complete him. Once we're all drawn in, then we have our completed quail. Now in order to make him double-sided, in other words, you need a mirrored image for the back, and then you'll need a front piece. We're going to need two quails. So I would cut him out and put him onto a plain piece of paper. And here I've just um, used some regular scotch tape to tape him down. This would be our front. To, in order to get a back one that is exactly the same as the front one, I'm going to copy it onto a clear transparency. Then when I make my copy for the back, I'll take my transparency, flip it over, and make a copy. So now we have the back side. And as you can see here, we have a front and a back that are exactly the same but mirrored. Now in order to put this together so that they're back to back, we're going to run a line of glue along the back and you'll just follow the line here. I'm going to leave this top part open right here. So we'll just put some glue on. Now I would have this finished before before I take it to class for the children, that way it's all dried and cut out and ready for them to stuff. So you've got the glue on there, now you're going to take your mirrored image and you'll just hold it up to the light and line it up so that your lines all match. Glue it down. And then you'll take your scissors and just cut him out. So when he's fully cut out, you'll have the top opened here and then the rest around it is all glued. So this is what you'd give the children then and they think it's really fun to get a roll of toilet paper and just pull off pieces and they'll color him first. Um, it's really hard to color after it's stuffed, so after they've colored it, then they'll just begin stuffing their quail. Now you might need to use a pencil or another object to kind of get it into the corners there. And if some of it rips, that's okay. You can just put a little bit more glue on it. I like to use clothes pins so then after, if you glue it a little bit, put a clothespin on there. But this top part, once he's all stuffed, that's what you'll do, is you'll just put some glue on. And then put a couple of clothespins on there to hold him shut until he's dry. You'll give the children their backing, and then they'll just glue their dried 
quail on there. And if you just glue the, the tail part, then he kind of will stick out and you can kind of move around a little bit. Um, on my example here, I've also added a feather to the top, so that makes it fun. Another example of stuffing is our little bear here. And for this particular one, I only need the front part copied. His back is plain. So I would just take my example, I ran it off onto brown construction paper. Cut him out just a little bit so that then I can glue him onto a plain piece of brown construction paper. And again, on this one, I'm going to leave the bottom part open. We'll take and put glue around the outside here. And being pretty generous with the glue. Glue him down. You'll then have one once it's dry. Again, you'll cut out on the lines all the way around. We'll put tissue from a tissue box in this particular one. And again, you may need to use a, a pencil or another object. To push that tissue down into the bear. And get it into all of the little places that you want it to be. Gluing them up and using a clothespin. And just add a ribbon to his neck. And you have a fun little share bear that the children can take home and says, be kind to one another.